All right, fair enough. That's the view coming in. But uh, what about the outlook then when it comes to um, the entire um, the entire uh, the oil and gas space? Given that there are uh, reports as well with the, with respect to where crude oil prices are headed, what's your outlook then as to how you're reading into some of these stocks and the kind of moves as well that we've seen uh, within the oil marketing companies and ONGC? Yeah, so, you know, Avan, that is what the energy index is at a new high, which is what is startling that both OMCs and the downstream upstream refineries are doing well. I mean, look at where uh, uh, ONGC is now. It's at a new high and so are HPBP. So I think the under ownership of PSUs is now coming to the fore. And I still think, uh, you know, there, there is a, well, look, by the way, look at MRP and look at some of these, uh, you know, downstream companies which have come out with excellent numbers. So I think refining margins will be strong. Uh, and like I said, ONGC, but I think Reliance will take the cake here because they have put in into their O2C, OTC business, they've invested. Now the return on investments will be sharp. Even though they just process soft crude, uh, there will be higher margins this time. And their summer part businesses make Reliance one of the large cap along with ONGC. We have Oil India and ONGC in our portfolio, which we are playing as a proxy. But we are also bullish on HPBP IOC, particularly IOC. I think they will come out with the best numbers ever in the history of the company in this quarter. Wow, best numbers in the history. We'll watch out for that. But